guys right now i loaded up and i'm about to get in the water guys i'll pack up my thing here my towel this my water i gotta go in there and i have the my thing here these are most important tools the gun and we have the gopro as you can see the gopro we gotta get that so yeah that this my mask no, uh, my gloves i've been looking for this for the past few months that is another reason why i didn't really get to go diving too and i also have this the buoy this here we go and we have the line so we are about to go in yeah. good morning good night good evening happy people what is going on it is your boy divine oneness back with a new video guys i hope god is blessing and protecting over everyone and i hope you all are putting god first because god is the maker and he is a curator so put god first guys and with all that being said guys let's dive right into this video this video is going to actually be a little long and it's going to have a little bit of talking in it so and a lot of explaining by the way sorry about that a lot of explaining because this video oh my god Let, anyway, let's get into this video right now guys let's get into this video right now enjoy put god first in your life okay what is going on happy people your boy make a drop on the spot and he take out a grunt it is small but i am feeling embarrassed talking about this but that gun actually tastes real good because that was actually for my niece she said she wanted a fish i could have shot something big for she like later down in this video we get a lot of big things but we're not talking about that and we talk about this so your boy lie down here on the surface looking at his surrounding making sure everything good we have the angel fish and then bam take a shot all right so racing up to the surface now because we know this fish is a good one it'll speed it up a little tear for you Place him at the very start of your day. Stay with him. Walk with him and talk. Okay guys, we going on to the surface here to get this fish. I still feel embarrassed because it's really small. But anyways, um, get that over me. And this is the depth of this water is actually at least between 15 and 14 feet. It's not that deep but your boy still trying some so this is here for this fish guys i hope you enjoy it and then we get to the next one with him during the day and most definitely end your day with god the theme here is abiding in his presence he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty to abide is to remain to remain in the presence of God. To remain in... Okay, what is going on, happy people? In this dive, it's... I take a shot out of a pork fish, but it turns out this fish is the most sickening, annoying fish I could ever shoot. As soon as I plug up this fish, this fish head straight to a cave one time, and I knew everybody wasn't having it. Well, it was, look at it, it, it actually turns out it was too late because that fish the done he stashed himself way up in that cave. I make a few dives on it, but I couldn't get him out and he take a, a nice portion of line with him up in there and it turns out that I make dives after dives. I probably make between 15, you know, 15, uh, I'm going to make at least between 6 and 4 dives behind this fish and i wasn't getting it i just wasn't getting it out i end up get fed up and i just decided to just chop the line and let him go and tie back the line on the spot day because my journey wasn't gonna finish the just so my journey is really long and it is very expensive so i have to make this work so your boy chop the line hook it back up and we jump over into the next one easy easy like that but i'll leave her to watch already take place and then i could decide what i think about this if i take a good shot or if i should not take a shot on that fish prayer to abide is to continue to continue walking in a prayerful spirit to continue walking by faith and not by sight to continue in god's presence 
He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Meaning, the person who takes a permanent residence in God shall remain, shall continue to stay under the shadow of the Almighty. To be under the shadow of God is to be covered. It's to be protected by the Almighty. What can get to you if you're under God's shadow? What can bother you? What can worry you? What can play you if you're under the shadow of the Almighty? Some would rather hide themselves in fortified bunkers. Some would run to the tallest and strongest building. Others would feel safer in their home with all the windows locked, the doors bolted shut and the alarm on. But I urge you okay what is going on happy people your boy make a dive on this spot and well you know the rule number your boy don't miss right but watch this piece watch this piece this fish what i'm about to shoot is actually called a carried it is a very delicious fish so check it out to abide under the shadow of the almighty run to god run to jesus in his shadow alone you find safety you find security you find protection and preservation when you're feeling the full heat of the so okay happy people after taking a shot at that carried it wasn't that much successful so we just decided to do a short dive here it wasn't not we didn't really shot nothing but it was cool to see them fish just swim through the water like that so yeah fire that comes with life's troubles run to god get on your knees Remain in prayer, continue in prayer, stay in his presence, abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When you have built your foundation on the solid rock that is Jesus Christ, you are not shaken by the earthquakes of life. You are not blown away by the winds of life. You are not taken... Okay, what is going to happen, people? Your boy make a short drop here. And turns out this school of fish is the most best fish I've ever seen. This fish is called a Kevel Jack. I'm not too sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I think that is it. Kevel Jack. So, this fish, a school came up to me at uh, lines up on one. One gave me a perfect shot. I take the shot and that was it. Check it out under by the floods of life and this is all because god will never fail you he will never let you down and so saints let me encourage you let your found okay what is going on happy people that was an excellent shot i am very impressed this fish fight kind of bad but again under control and everything is fine everything is good didn't get to cop down there and thank god that fish didn't run in no cave or nothing because there were tons of cave down there that he could have run in and i thank god for that and yeah wow what a wonderful creature this nation be jesus christ let your faith be in Jesus Christ. Let your reason for joy, your reason for hope be because of Jesus Christ. Because truly I tell you, when you stand on the solid rock that is... Okay, what is going on happy people? We make a short dive here. And um, before I could I get onto so, to the seafloor, I realized that I was not equalizing properly. That is our number one thing we need to get right. Equalizing is something that play a big role in diving. You need to equalize properly. So I decide I wasn't equalizing all that good. So I decided to just go back up on the surface and try again. Right? So remember from the start of the video, I wasn't equalizing too good. So... I just go back up on the surface, I try again, do a little more thing, breathe up a little bit, equalize off on the surface, it was going good until I decided to just go back down and we go back down on, this, on the sea floor, it turns out it was okay, I equalized good, but bam, here comes a tap one. As you all know, I have a history with tap one. 
tap on something that's like real bad i talk about this in almost every video that i go to shoot at that one and why does i do this oh my god why am i doing this again guys i don't know how this was fight i don't have to explain it but i still decide to take a shot what made me take this shot my stupidity like really you, bro, you know you wouldn't get this fish, you still decide to try it. So I try it and I just graze a few skills off of him, not much. But next time I will know not to take a shot and check out this video guys, check it out. Jesus Christ, you will survive when the rain falls. You'll survive when the floods come. You won't be destroyed when the winds blow. Put your trust in God. Seek God. Seek His presence. And most importantly, <laughs> seek to dwell in His presence. So before we pray, I urge you to take just a few moments to reflect and look at your life. What are you dwelling on? Do you dwell on the what ifs of this world? What if I could do this? What if I never did that? Do you dwell on the path? Okay, happy people. This could just be the most amazing thing I'd ever do. So I did a short dive here. And with night looking wrong and thing, bam, here comes the same school from earlier. But I was out of range and I was too far off. So I couldn't get a shot on them. Right, like look. Wow, look at that school. If only I could have just chuck my hand down there and take another shot. But I was praying that one might have swim up to me instead of me trying to rush it because it's more good it is a more good thing to let a fish rush you than for you to rush it. Well I'm not I mean rush in a bad way, but I mean like for the fish to come towards you then for you to go towards it because once the fish show, see, see that you interested in it it will try to get out of the way and let it go straight ahead but once the fish realize that you're not too interested in it it will come close to check you out that is a very good quote though god damn i gotta try to speak more ah yeah 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 so that is it uh your boy didn't score on this dive but it was still interesting to see them fish still hanging out around the area so let you get to the other one okay what is going on happy people number eight number eight have a history we're looking to number eight number eight your boy breed up on the surface everything going good you reach down on the on the sea floor you lie down looking wrong strong and good so bam snapper nice big one with nearby lines up now take a shot bam within after a shot now the i realize the, sh the spear ain't even come close to the fish so when i take a proper look is that i looking at like bro what the hell this is the first, this is not the first time i see this snapper this snapper check me out a plenty times already but i never really take a shot because most likely i was out of range or he he he, he, he maybe he may be show up on me unexpected we are now looking to head back up in the surface because that happened a few times already it's a nice red snapper it's actually a talk to each snapper too so i loads up take the shot and completely the line wraps up in the rubber i have no idea how that happened that's always happened i don't know how that happened somebody let me know how that has happened what does make that happen so we're gonna jump into number nine do you dwell in worry or are you dwelling on that pro okay what is going on happy people we have a lionfish here lionfish is not a invaded species at i think it's an invaded species i think so but anyway lionfish is a dangerous thing we need to kill it out but we need to be gentle i'll tell her if we're killing it take away time the way how i hold it i will show that in another video i hold it by the mouth and take time with it because you want to get stung from this thing this thing is dangerous it is very dangerous it's dangerous to us and it is also dangerous to the ocean because the reason why it's dangerous for the ocean i'll try to make this quick as possible the reason why it is dangerous for the ocean is kill out all the younger fish eat everything like all the younger fish it doesn't eat nothing it's the only thing that does eat this lion fish that i know it is actually called the barracuda and them because like the barracuda and them have something that does 
that doesn't really interfere them even so if they get stung from it it wouldn't really get them sick they wouldn't die or nothing so so we cannot really eat that just so so we have to deal with that specially special specially and with that being said guys i will leave a link in the comment with a friend who was doing a video how to how to fillet them and how to clean them i'll leave that in the link down below right so with that being said guys number nine was a very dangerous one but i thank god that i well and I, okay so let me look to jump over into Oh, and next thing, sorry that I did not get to show this fish. It's just that this fish is really dangerous. I clearly forget how to show it. But I did handle it with care. I was very generous. I take my time. And with all of that being said, guys, let's jump into the next video. Problem. What is it that you're dwelling on today? Because if it isn't God Almighty, if you're not dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, then friend, I urge you to come to the Lord. Come to Jesus. Run and dwell in His presence. Be found. Okay, happy people, number 10. First thing, we have a ton of bait fish, like a lot of bait fish. And where there's bait fish, there's huge big game. So you better make a job here on it some bait fish with me reach down bait fish flying over him real thing 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 so often i bam a school like hurried past you but there was out of range but i still try to take a shot you know that by sometimes i had to try in a boy so i take a try and it was a complete fail so <laughs> your boy didn't have the gun load at that time it was load but it was the shot was little too far shot us too far and the prize was out of range so you don't know about you can lead and jump over on the other one so with that being said check out the other video to have taken a permanent residence under the shadow of the almighty okay what is going to happen people after making a long dive here not really that long but as you can see reach on the surface area really quick Hiding behind this ledge, checking out my surroundings, not much fish moving out until down the distance a uh, school of Queen Mullet decided to come round the corner and I just decided to take a peek. When I take a peek, I saw one that was looking really huge with no lines up a shot. I stoned it, but I have no idea what take place down there. I don't know if I probably shot me in a very soft place. And with me get shot in a soft place, the spear probably just come off or something. But take a look at the shot. Bam! And I have no idea what take place after that. And so it is with this understanding that we should pray. My dear Heavenly Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. May they be drawn to your presence. May they be drawn to your secret place. I pray that every man and woman of God who is listening right now will be covered, protected, secured, defended, shielded, and hidden by your shadow. I pray in the name of Jesus that you are hidden from the sight of evil. The devil will not be able to lay a hand on you or on your family because you are protected by God Almighty. Okay, what is going on happy people in this video here if i make a short dive here and bam out of nowhere a paracuta come right up to check him out so with the paracuta come right up to check him up the boy your boy line up the gun now and with me line up the gun takes a shot but like the scope wasn't on point now but it's like i don't know like i had to line up the scope or something now you look at what's going on here i'll play it back for you to see just in case so i miss something may you find the lord to be your safe place your peaceful sanctuary may god's presence reside in your home in your hearts and minds i pray for every son and daughter of god who is in agreement with me right now when the storm seems endless in your life may the good lord grant you supernatural strength even if the enemy tries to steal your joy, may he fail and be crushed by the angel of the Lord, which encamps around all those who fear him. I pray for peaceful thoughts in your mind, 
I pray for an overwhelming peace and divine joy to sit right at the center of your heart. For anyone who is uneasy, may the Lord calm your spirit. I decree and declare that it is well with your soul. It is well in your home and in your life. It is well with you, child of God. May the Holy Spirit grant you boldness and courage. May you stand strong and firm in faith. And I pray that you will not be found to be fearful in any area of your life. You won't be found to have any worry or anxiety in your life in Jesus' name. Father, we claim your word and say surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. I have victory in the name of Jesus. Victory over any... Okay, what is going on, happy people? Your boy make a drop here and it was like shocking because there was a ton of bait fish but in the mid underneath that bait fish there was a whole school of carrot and out of all of them one came to check me out and it was the smallest one so i lined up a shot and nail it and it went amazing check it out mountains any giants and i want to thank you for the power that i can access through your blood power that allows me to overcome daily to be blessed daily to wake up in your grace and mercies each day lord we choose to trust in you each day each hour each moment of my life you gave your life on the cross to set me free psalms 91 verse 2 says i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in whom i trust I confess this to be true in your life, in our lives, as believers in Jesus Christ. God is our refuge indeed, our hiding place. We bless your name, Lord. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Okay, what is going on, happy people? I have two things I want to apologize for, and one, we have a sponsor for today's video. Number one, I'm sorry I did not catch this fish on tape and uh, the nether fish are also sorry i didn't catch it on tape the nether fish is called a snook and the sponsor for today's video is the person who sponsored today's video the name of his youtube channel is divine oneness so go check him out and subscribe and turn on your bell notification and with that being said let's jump into the few clips that we have left back your word says in Jeremiah 17, verse 7, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. I decree and declare God's word right now and say I am blessed because I trust in the Lord. My hope is in the Lord. When my trust is in you, Lord Jesus, your word says that I will be like a tree planted by the waters, meaning I will not fear when heat comes. I will not be anxious in the year of drought. Thank you for such a promise, a promise that you will keep me, sustain me, and protect me from heat that seeks to destroy me. You will protect and sustain me from any drought that seeks to destroy me. Okay, what is going on, people? Okay, this is actually the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you put God first, and I hope you pray before you go out in the ocean, whether you're fishing on rod and reels or or you're just going to help a friend still say a word of prayer because you, once you say a prayer, Father has always blessed you with everything. Your day does go good. And with all that being said, see you on the next adventure, guys because you King Jesus are my one and only source so let the storm wind and rain come I will be sheltered by my Savior let the thunder and lightning roar I am at peace and I will remain at peace because I am covered by the Almighty Lord I pray that each of my steps will be directed by you. I submit to you. I submit to your plans. May your will be fulfilled in my life. Have mercy on me.
Lord Jesus. Hide me in your shadow where there is love. Because in your love, there is no fear. There is no pain and sorrow. Your perfect love expels all that is negative and all that is draining. It's in you that I trust, and it's in you that I will continue to trust. Your word in Psalms 91 tells me that I will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness. Thank you for such protection, Lord. Although undeserved, you offer me this security. I welcome you to do as you will, Lord. Have your way in my life.